My name is Tim Babington. I'm Executive Director here at Sexual Health and Family Planning ACT. Okay. Sexual Health and Family Planning is a community organisation. Um, we receive some support from government to provide a range of health, education and training services in the areas of sexual and reproductive health. Sexuality education is like all education, it's uh, about empowering people with knowledge, skills and confidence to engage uh, in their lives, um, to look after themselves, to make decisions. Uh, sexuality education and relationships education focuses very much on understanding first how our bodies work and how we keep them healthy. There are some really great violence prevention outcomes that come when we do that well. Um, they're not necessarily what people intend when they uh, explicitly when they start doing health education but they're one of the really amazing things that we see that when we give open spaces for people to talk about their rights, their well-being, their health and what to expect in terms of respect we see really great outcomes come from that. I don't think we, we talk um, about the impact of HIV for women very well in Australia in terms of just the gender lens. There's an assumption in our policy settings that HIV as it affects women affects them because of other intersectional identities or, or characteristics. And we know that our current uh, national policy setting doesn't deal with women as a priority population explicitly. In our community as we've talked more and more about gender in the last couple of decades I think we're understanding um, gender in a much more nuanced way than we perhaps were before where we associated only with that experience of categories of biological sex and so women who are affected by HIV are of course a diverse and that's a dynamic group of people not just a fixed group of people in our community. Starting conversations within our family when we become aware of, of uh, new information we haven't heard before, talking in our friendship groups, talking with our colleagues at work, I think it starts with being interested and sharing that interest with other people. I think the AIDS crisis triggered a community response in Australia and in many other countries of the world that brought together affected communities with healthcare professionals and public policy decision makers and asked them to really grapple with um, complex issues that were poorly understood. In terms of healthcare we've seen two really major points of change. One was in 1995 when we finally got treatments that were um, effective and it's suppressing the virus. Um, and then the one has just been in the last couple of years where access to PrEP um, means that people can take a medication that significantly reduces um, to, the, to the point of no transmission. Mm -hmm. And I think in Australia we can also um, pause to remember all of the people that we lost along the way um, before we had treatments that actually were as effective as they are today.